let's look at this problem. The line y is equal to 2x plus k is a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 10x equal to 0, where k is a constant. Find the possible value of values of k. Now, drawn this circle. Uh, I'll explain how I could draw the circle like this. So this is the circle. This is the circle. And the two lines are, these are the two possible lines. Okay, so this is a line y is equal to 2x plus k. So basically we want to find, I, I hope you understand, the gradient of both the lines is 2. Okay, it's drawn, not drawn to scale. So basically the question is, you have to find this k, this k, or this, suppose if you extend this, this line will intersect this at this point. So this is a k, this is a possible value of k. So basically the question is to find the y-intercept of these lines because I hope you know the 2 is the gradient and k is the y-intercept. So this has to be positive and this will be negative, okay? So I'll explain how this is uh, in a graphical way, how this circle, this is the circle, okay? So what are we saying? This is a tangent, that means there's only one point of intersection. So this is the two points of intersection, okay? So we are saying y is equal to 2x plus k, and this is a circle. So in place of y, I can put 2x plus k. So let me write the circle equation. The circle equation is x squared plus y squared minus 10x is equal to 0. And we have got y is equal to 2x plus k. So in place of y, I'm going to put uh, 2x plus k. So this equation, x, the circle equation will change to x squared plus y is 2x plus k. So I can say in place of y I'm putting 2x plus k, the whole squared minus 10x is equal to 0. Okay, so let's expand this. So this is x squared plus, this is 2x plus k times 2x plus k. minus 10x is equal to 0. So let us expand this out. So this is x squared plus 2x times 2x is 4x squared plus 2x times k is 2kx plus k times 2x is again 2kx plus k times k is k squared minus 10x is equal to zero. So let's group the uh, terms together. So this is this is five x squared. So this and this has got x. So I'm going to write the next step to save time like this. So this is five x squared. And if I factor out an x outside, I can write two k two k minus ten times x. Okay, two k. Oh, oops, this has to be 4kx. So let me do one. Oops, let me do one step. I should not be saving time. So let me write the next step. So let us simplify this. So this is 5x squared. This is 2kx plus 2kx, which is 4kx minus 10x. Okay, I brought the x's together, and then you've got a k, k squared sitting alone equal to zero. Now I want to write this as a quadratic equation. So this is 5x squared as it is. I'm going to factor out an x here. So this is 4k minus 10 times x plus k squared is equal to zero. Okay, now this is a quadratic equation. And now we are saying that this is a, the tangent. There's only one point of intersection between the line and the circle. So now we can say, as this is a quadratic equation, and there's only one point of intersection, only one solution, only one point of intersection. Let me write that. Only one point of intersection implies there's only one solution. 
So if you remember the quadratic formula and the nature of roots, this implies only one solution. Only one solution. Now if a quadratic equation has only one solution, what is that implied? That implies b squared minus 4ac has to be equal to 0. Okay, so here, so let me show you what is, so this is your a, this is your a, this is, this is your b, and this is your c. So let us uh, substitute a, b, and c. So we can say this implies, let me use a different color, this implies b squared. So b squared is 4k minus 10, the whole squared, minus 4 times phi times c, which is k squared is equal to 0. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, so now I'm going to factor out a 2. So let me write this step like this. This implies, if you factor out a 2, you can write this becomes 2k minus 5, the whole squared, minus 4 times 5k squared is equal to 0. Now you have to be careful. This square is applicable to both this 2 and this bracket. So this implies this is 4 times 2k minus 5 the whole squared minus 4 times 5k squared is equal to 0. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 4. Okay, so you can divide this by 4, this by 4, and this by 4. So what happens, this and this gets cancelled, this and this also gets cancelled. So this is a easier, so this implies this is nothing but 2k minus 5, the whole squared, minus 5k squared is equal to what? What is 0 divided by 4? 0 divided by 4 is also 0. So now expanding this, so this is, I hope you can do expansion yourself. So this is 4k squared minus, this will be 10, so 20k, you can expand it yourself. I'm doing this faster to save time, plus 25 minus 5k squared is equal to zero. So now this is, what is this? This is 4k squared take away, 5k squared is, this implies this is minus k squared, minus 20k, plus 25, is equal to zero. Now we can use the quadratic formula, but I'm going to use the calculator to find the values of k. So using calculator, so if you go to calculator, go to your equation menu and go to polynomial okay so two de second degree so let me delete it yes okay so second degree so your a is negative one a is negative one b is negative 20 and c is plus 25 okay the calculator will solve that for me so these are the two values. I have already, already written that number. So this is minus 1.18033, this whole number. And this is minus 21 point. This, after the decimal point, it is the same. So from memory, I know it. this is 1.18. I need the whole number, 033, to check my answer, 9887. If you want to round it, this is minus 1.18, or k is minus 21.18033987. Now, I've written this, 339887. Okay, so let's check this on a calculator. Now, this equation, suppose, let me write this. Suppose, if you want to write, draw this and check your answer, this equation, can you write y squared is equal to 10x, y squared is 10x minus x squared. So if you take the square root of both sides, y is equal to plus or minus square root of 10x minus x squared. So you're going to check this and on a calculator. 
So go to your graph menu. This is my graph menu. Oops. Okay. So I already typed in the equation. Okay. So this is. So let me type it again so that you can see what I've done. So the first equation is a circle, which is shift square root. I'll put this in the bracket. 10x minus x squared. I'll show you that. First close the bracket. So this is, okay, so this is 10x minus 10x minus x squared. Oh, I wrote 10 minus x squared. That's my mistake. Sorry. So let me shift square root bracket 10x minus x squared. Okay, and so this is what I was talking about. So this is the upper part of the circle. Okay, so when you do plus, you get the upper part. And to draw the, uh, write the equation of the lines, it is 2x plus 1.18039887. So can you see this is the tangent? And this is the circle. And just to find the point of intersection, this is the point of intersection. There is only one point of intersection. Okay, now if you want to see the second branch, you have to type in minus there. Okay, can you see this is the lower branch? And to get the other equation, I'll have to put uh, delete, I'll put a minus there and 21. Okay, oops, I have to delete that 21.18. So, can you see this branch? Okay, so this is the other branch and then find intersection. So this is the other point of intersection. Hopefully this video has been helpful and this is how you can check your answer on the graphic calculator.